Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code bi-weekly contest 115. It's an easy level problem. Uh, but trust me, as soon as I saw this problem, I was very lazy to code it up. <laughs> it's very cumbersome to code and probably going through the problem statement because it's sort of confusing at the first go. Uh, so yeah, but but still, you, you had to solve it, right? So this was the last one I saw in the contest. But yeah, let's see. Let's see what the problem is asking us to do, right? Uh, I see... Uh, uh, low accuracy the reason being the you know it's it's a cumbersome problem I, I would say that according to me i may be wrong but yeah that's what i feel okay it says that given a zero indexed array of string words where words of i is either a positive integer represented as a string or the string previous okay now start iterating from the beginning of the array for every previous string seen in words find the last visited integer in words which is defined as follows okay what is the definition let k be the number of consecutive this word is very important you can get wrong answer if you just miss this word right let k be the number of consecutive previous string seen so far containing the current containing the current string okay let nums be the zero indexed array of integers seen so far and nums reverse be the reverse of numbers then integer at k minus 1th index blah 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 forget about this i'll, I'll just directly tell you it says that this is the word you can have either positive integers or you can have this particular string previous so for every inst for every occurrence of this previous you have to find the last visited integer that means here are three occurrences of previous you will return an answer array with three values now how to calculate values for these val uh, for these strings right so what do you do just see you come here so you just count what is the uh, uh, what do you call it consecutive number of strings that you have seen previous string including the current one including the current one so here you just have one string right one string great now till this point what are the integers that you have seen one and two so this is nums also what's the reverse of this array two comma one okay so how many consecutive consecutive strings you saw just one so you saw k consecutive strings k minus 1 that is 0 0 with uh, value 0 with index index value in reverse of number is your answer okay 0 with index value in reverse of your number is your answer we'll see more examples don't worry i move to this one what are the numbers i've seen till now 1 comma 2 what's the reverse of this array 2 comma 1 this is index 0 this is index 1 right now how many consecutive previous i have seen till here including the current one it's two great it's two now what is two minus one remember since you have seen k you always find the k minus one -th index number so this is one one -th index number is your answer what is one -th index one so one is your answer let's come here how many consecutive previous uh, strings you have seen three what is three minus one this two so what's the second index remember i just have two indices this is a, I just have two elements. This guy is saying, okay, give me the third element, right? Because second index means third element, right? This index starts from 0, 1, and 2. So you return minus 1. Getting it? So this is what the problem is saying. Let's see one more example to get a feel of this, okay? No answer for this one. You come here. What, what are the numbers you have seen till now? Only this. What is the reverse of this array? This. How many consecutive strings you have seen till now? I mean, previous string, including this one, it's 1. So what is 1 minus 1? It's 0. What's the 0th index number in your reverse? 1. So 1 is your answer. Next number you see is 2. What's the reverse of this? 2, 1. You come here. What's the, what do you call it, uh, a consecutive number of previous strings you have seen till here, including this one? It's 1. What is 1 minus 1? It's 0. 0th index number is your answer. 0th index number is your answer. You come here. Okay what's the uh, consecutive number of previous you have seen till now uh, for this including this one it's two what is two minus one it's one one -th index number is your answer one -th index number is your answer getting it so this is what the problem is asking us to do the constraints are low it's an implementation based problem so nothing uh, you know different to explain in this just see this is the answer array this is the values that i have seen count is the number of consecutive strings that i have seen previous string right so if the current word is previous, that means I have to calculate the answer. So first increment the count, whatever is the value of count, increment it because the current string is previous, right? So at least I saw one previous string. 
including the current one. So this is the current one. If count is greater than values dot size, that means if I have seen the sufficient number of values, sorry, if I have not seen the sufficient number of values, I add minus one or else I do integer dot values of values dot get ct minus one. Simple. Getting it? This is what I do. Now you must be wondering, I have to return the uh, values from reverse number. So what I am doing here, just see if the current string it not is not previous, what I am doing values dot at at zeroth index, add the current word, right? At zeroth index. So I'm adding the numbers like this. If you saw one, great. If you saw two, add it here. If you saw three, add it here. If you saw four, add it here. So always add elements at zeroth index. So that is why this is giving me current answer. Now, as soon as you see a non previous word or an integer, you simply reset your you simply reset your counter. Getting it because now that the consecutive thing that we were looking is broken, right? So that's why you reset the counter. Finally, you return the answer. Okay, so this is how you solve this problem. I find it cumbersome to code. So that is why I was a little bit reluctant to code it. But yeah, just to make the videos, I, I, I coded it, right? Uh, so yeah, I hope you learned something new from this video. Do support it by giving a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any queries related to the solution or you used any other approach. Okay, so that we all can learn from each other, right? So yeah, have fun. I'll see, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.